Oh. Hello team. If you don't tell Tara, then I promise I won't tell Tara either. She's got me on a regime of sitting and doing absolutely nothing. Well, I say sitting and doing nothing. I've been doing paperwork for the farm and thinking of ideas for the YouTube channel and, and making thumbnails and that kind of stuff. Um, but she won't let me do any hard work, any physical work, because of this blasted shoulder. It's still not feeling great. But you guys, I'm sure, all know how it feels when you've got this project that's going on that you're really excited about and you just want to crack on and, and, and get, get it done. I um, mean, you can't do it because you busted up a little bit. Well, I'm feeling a little bit gypped off by it, to be honest, because I really want to be doing this. I don't really want to be doing paperwork. Um, it's good that I've got time to do that because somebody needs to do it. But um, I would rather be down here. This is more fun. Anyway, so I've been thinking of a couple of low impact ideas that I could just get on with. Um, and if Tara does wander around the corner and come down to the lawn area, um, she sees me doing something. I can say, oh, no, no, you know, it's just this. So today we're going to look at making a glorified extension lead so that we can wire in some plug sockets around here that will then plug into the EcoFlow box. Um, and also some of the wood that I put in really early in this project, which is, uh, which is I don't know, nearly probably six weeks, seven weeks ago now, um, has started to move as it's dried. We expected that to start off with. If you look at these, um, these floorboard, these decks, if you remember when I put them together, I put them tight up against each other as they've dried. We've got around about a centimeter, um, a third of an inch, quarter of an inch, third of an inch worth gaps now between each one. That's how much the wood's dried. I expect it to dry a bit more now. But I've got this piece of wood right here supporting one of the banister posts that's starting to lean this way. So another very low impact job that I can do today is fix that and make sure that we don't need this piece of wood to hold that upright. Anyway, pins and needles still existing in my hand. Very frustrating, low impact jobs. Let's get on and see where we can get to today. You got the heart that is bigger than the sun You got the smile that is wider than the fun Whatever you imagine will come true Whatever you wish upon a star will do And there is only one thing you should really love It is your heart when it seems up above Hey you over there It's time to get up and make the world shine It's time to get back to feeling so fine That was lost. You got to find the sparkle in the frost. You got to find the passion in the must. You got to find the light in the dust. All right. You are good to the first thing we need to do, really, is decide where do we want those plugs. Because, well, I mean, where are we going to be sat when we're going to be thinking I need to plug my phone in, or where are we going to be sat when I'm thinking? Well, what needs to be plugged in? What needs to be plugged in? I think definitely having a plug socket somewhere here would be really handy. Probably on the other side of this as well as backup for that solar powered fridge that we've got from EcoFlow as well. Um, what else? I don't know. Maybe somewhere over there as well would be a good idea. So let's um, let's slip some cable through underneath the deck and see where we end up. But um, for now, I think best things first. First things first, let's put up a socket oh. box. So. thinking we could put it here it's just ugly isn't it and we probably have some cushions there or something like that so somewhere around the side in the back here might be the best place for it what do you reckon guys it's so tough to know what the right thing to do is maybe over there 
Well, we've got a table here. It's probably the best place to put it. It's on the table, isn't it? straight through the back I reckon. Wood drill. all over for those. I was thinking Crusoe had walked off with this packet of, uh, of um, tacks to hold the wire. Um, sorry Crusoe, blaming you for nothing there. He's actually, anybody's wondering where Crusoe is at the moment, my little sidekick he usually hangs out with me down here, helps me build stuff. Um, he's actually at the moment over at Joao's house with Armando Joao's father and Joao's mum, Elsa, um, and he is, hmm. um, he's uh, looking at bunny rabbits. That's fun. <laughs> it's, uh, it's normally at around about this point that I'd say comment, leave a comment. You know, let us know whether you think we should be getting a bunny rabbit or not. Um, but the truth of the matter is, um, people, actually, I don't really want a bunny rabbit. Um, so please don't leave any comments about whether we should get a bunny rabbit. Unless you really want to leave a comment about whether we should get a bunny rabbit and then leave a comment. Remember the water pipes when I was laying the water pipes? It always blooming wind them up in such a funky old way. All right, so I think this can go there. We've got the beginnings of a nice piece of. impact he says sorry I've got to stop Damn it. if you do leave a comment about us getting a bunny rabbit definitely whatever you do don't name it because that would be terrible you know because once you've named something you've sort of agreed to the principle of it it, it sort of arriving and you know I don't want a bunny rabbit so don't name the bunny rabbit Please, <laughs> Crusoe might find out. Right.
it's in this section right here that the outside fridge is going to go and i'm also thinking probably the ecoflow charging box will go under the seating area as well so it'll be nicely sheltered so we're going to want to run the cable so that there's a plug at some point down there Okay, I've just cut this cable here. So this is the cable that runs to those two sockets that I've just um, wired in. I'll put a plug on the end of this one and we'll be able to just plug that straight into the EcoFlow box. Now, I'm saying EcoFlow box, but it, you know, this isn't, I'm saying EcoFlow box, but it's not a sponsored video, this one. So um, really it could be any kind of one of those boxes that, that, that does a really great job of of um, collecting solar energy and being portable. Um, I use EcoFlow because we've featured them a lot on our channel and in the past you guys um, you guys know what I mean when I talk about EcoFlow boxes, so um, power boxes. Um, so this, uh, they've also got a whole bunch of plugs. Those power boxes have got a whole bunch of plugs on the front of them usually. So what that means is I don't have to run more than a couple of sockets off of one plug and in, in essence, all I've done is I've built an extension cable that plugs into a wall and it's just a bit fancier than, than that. Um, so this will plug into one of the sockets on the on the power box um, and I'm going to run this cable. This will have another plug on the end of it, plug into another one of the sockets on the power box. Um, I'm going to run that to the other side of the deck. So um, just go ahead and do that now. But let me first of all stick a plug on the end of this so we've got two working sockets. Well, there you go. There's one, uh, there's one lot in place. We could say that is a fairly low impact activity. Wouldn't you agree? I should go and check on Tara now and see what she's up to. Make sure that uh, she's not been looking for me. Could be in trouble. It's time to say a really big thank you and introduce you all to today's sponsor, Skillshare, who I am super excited to be partnering with. I first came across Skillshare, it must be years ago now, and I started a few courses and then had Crusoe and needless to say, things all came to a grinding halt. I'm at the point now with Sawyer and with Crusoe and with the way that we're setting up life where I can dive back into a whole bunch of learning. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives and it offers the most incredible array of different courses for everything from art and painting and illustration to things like marketing, social media, and how to use the editing software that we use to edit our videos, Final Cut Pro, which is a course that I got halfway through and I'm super excited to get back into. The best thing about it for us in particular with our life, with the boys and with the farm, is that all of the lessons are stackable. You can do them completely in your own time and in any way and anywhere that suits you. As entrepreneurs, we also really appreciate that they've got so many career enhancing courses too. On topics like marketing, social media, productivity, there's just heaps to dive into. So if that sounds interesting, which I hope it does, and I'd encourage you all to give something new a try, the first 1000 people to click on the link in our description will get their first month for free on Skillshare. And even if you're just curious for now, remember by clicking on the link, you really help to support our channel. So thanks so much and a huge thanks once again to Skillshare. All right, so um, a few little jobs there done. We've got two sockets put in. We fixed the, um, the wood that's drying and bending in the wrong direction. 
I feel good about that. It always feels nice to fix something that you've built perfect and then it kind of takes its own shape and its own direction. Um, and then you put it back to where you want it and hopefully it will be there now forever like it's supposed to be. Um, so uh, what other little projects can I do down here before I'm really getting found out? Um, I could, uh, blimey. I know exactly what I can do. This will make Tara happy as well. She bought these um, these lights at the, uh, the dreaded IKEA. Um, I know it's a very popular shop, but for me, um, the only reason I really ever go in there is to have their salmon, their lohi. Um, it's got these nice herbs on top of it. It's delicious. I'm going to hang them up. that IKEA does really well is um, practicalities. You know, they're very practical, the old sweep. Um, they always give you enough cable, make sure that you've got it in the right place. So. Radio team, Tara's gonna be delighted. I like making Tara happy. Happy Tara, what do they say? Happy wife, happy life? No, it's not that, is it? It's happy wife, easy life. Easy life, happy life, easy life. Tara doesn't come down now. When it gets dark tonight, after we put the kids to sleep, I'll come down here and I'll put these on. We can have a look at them. We can have a nice glass of wine down here. Hopefully, oops, hopefully it'll be a really nice surprise for them. big fan of those kind of lights but I know Tara really likes them so that's great. I'm endlessly amazed at the kind of <laughs> the power of humanity and the I don't know this community of people that support us every week thank you so much to all of you I've just had an email from a lady called Tamara who's an osteopath in the UK and she's offering to have a call with us to see if she can figure out what's going on with John's shoulder boys <laughs> are keeping themselves entertained in the background um but I mean, that is just so kind and it's exactly what we need. Something about moving to a new country that's really tricky to navigate is figuring out where to go to kind of see the right people and who to call and what to do. So um, we were just gonna call the local GP here who we're registered with, but to have an offer like that from somebody who's been working in the industry for so long, um, who knows what she's talking about, is like something we just can't refuse. I can't wait to tell John. It's just what he needs. Just someone to give him a bit of guidance on what we need to do to get him better seems to be only getting worse and it's been really a long time now that he hasn't been feeling well. 
Um, anyway, I can't wait to tell him about that. He's going to be so excited. Thank you, Tamara. That's amazing. My love. Yeah. It is hot. Should we go for a swim? Yeah, yeah, let's go for a swim. But I've got some really good news for you. Okay. So we just had an email from a lady called Tamara. She's an osteopath in the UK. Yeah. She wants to have a call with you quickly to see if she can help with your shoulder. Right. Okay. That's she's, yeah. she's got over 30 years of experience. Okay. And when, when are we going to talk? Well, she said she can talk now if you want to. Is it right now? Swim. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to go for a swim? No. There you, go. you might as well phone Tamara. <laughs> Who says inside playing with uh, with soy? What are they doing? It must be amazing. It's actually quite cute. Come and look. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Be careful, buddy. <laughs> hey, Sawyer, do you want to go for a swim? Yeah. <laughs> you guys. What do they say about the second child being an absolute bruiser? Oh man, I have to really back off from like constantly shouting at Crusoe for being harsh on his brother. It's really scary to watch, but Sawyer yeah. hardly seems to lose, really. I think they're a lot more robust than we think. Right? Okay, so tomorrow I can definitely feel when John rotates that shoulder, there's a lot of like crunching going on in it. What do you think tomorrow? What's the what's the outcome? What should be what what should I do? I'm sorry, John. Uh, you're gonna have to stop doing strenuous activity and heavy lifting for a while, and find other things that you can do that don't provoke the pain. Um, having consulted with you, I've got every hope that you'll mend nice and rapidly. And I'm sending you my very best. Thank you. Thanks, Tamara. Thanks, Tamara. Thank um, you, Tamara. We so appreciate your time. Yeah, really, really great. Um, fingers crossed we can get back at it super quickly. It's going to get those keys on that shoulder. Yeah. people here and it's amazing but on a day like today in the summer holidays it's hardly surprising that it's actually really busy with lots of people you gonna get under the bridge Is there any way we can get around to that little beach around the corner there? Doesn't it? All right, that's ours. Sawyer, sit there for a minute. Oh boy. Do not move. Do not move. Right, shoes off, everybody. Um, Mummy. Yeah. My other one is swan. Your swan? Yeah. It's in the bag. We've got to blow it up. Okay. Where? I'll show you now.
spend my days scrolling down my feet online And all the fines, all my friends are doing well One's playing shows of thousands, one's traveling the world While well, I'm wondering how far I fell Do I like to ask the ghost of time? Now, Chris, did we bring a I hope so. <laughs> Great. Big hat just get lost it up. <laughs> it's time lapse there. Comparison and prediction will only tie me to the ground. So we'll try to stop from sinking further down. Mm -hmm. Come on in, arms up. Arms up, Crusoe. It's one. Myself can get so out of hand, but I think I'm getting closer to the truth. Not everything that's thrown in lights can make it past the glare to make a change that lasts beyond its youth. I like to ask the ghost of time. Will I look within and look behind? <laughs> he's that fun. He's loving it, isn't he? He is absolutely loving it. Hey, little man. Is it fun? Show me, is it fun? It's not all bad news today, darling, is it? No. <laughs> that is the end of a very very long day. Tara currently is putting the boys to bed. It's time to see whether we can get that little surprise all sorted out for her down on the deck. I'm gonna need a shower and well let's get the uh, the power box down there and let's get everything all set up and made to look lovely. I'm excited. She doesn't know anything about it yet.
Horiyatiki. Yum, yum. Tara's favorite. All right, friends. Um, I have got changed. Look at me. Brilliant. I've got a shirt on. I've made supper for us both. Got white wine and a beer. I've got a baby monitor. I've got flowers. I've got cushions. I'm feeling pretty good about this. All we've got to do now is sit down and wait. And wait. There's some flies. And wait. Hello, darling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, darling. Look what I got. <laughs> look. You were watering your blinking flowers. Yeah, well, look. Oh, love. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, those. Oh, it um, looks epic. Those IKEA lights, darling. They're all right, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Not so bad. I'm doing a time lapse at the moment, but I don't think it's working out particularly well. There we go, everybody. It looks a bit dull. Hopefully, it goes good. Sunset on the other side of the hill. Yeah, I know. I just put a drone up. You are supposed to have this on your shoulder. Yeah. Okay, let's go and do that. So that's how a surprise works in the newbie household. There's no big fanfare. Or... You know, you were in trouble because I came down from bringing the boys to bed and John usually tied us up and we hadn't tied each other. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, that's true. But I had a shower. You did have a shower. Yeah. It's smelly from across the floor. Mm. Oh, thank you, Dad. All right, and look, look, I made supper. You've made supper and everything. Mm. Oh, oh, that's the baby monitor. Hang on, it'll reconnect in a minute. There we go, reconnected. The light from the Algarve looks ace, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Oh, I love it, and flowers and everything. Yeah. Oh, thank <laughs> you. What's great. the occasion? It's your birthday tomorrow. Oh, you remembered. Yeah, I did. Yeah. This is a big day, isn't it? It is. What a treat, love. Thank you. That's all right, my darling. This looks so beautiful. Look at that view with that frame and everything. Well, it's not finished yet. Oh no, and oh, we're gonna, uh, we're not, anyway. But, we should tell everyone what's going on. Yeah, we? let's have a think about that. Um, eat some, eat some good food. Horiatiki for all you Greeks out there. Um, nice Greek salad for everybody else. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday, me. Happy birthday, you. That was all right, wasn't it? It worked out well. Did okay with that. The lights are coming on. I mean, they've they, they've been on, but they're they're definitely starting to be lights rather than just sort of these dim things in in the middle of the daytime. They look lovely, darling. I'm really happy with them. Mm. Really happy. Yeah, you can imagine how it's going to be when it's totally finished down here. Oh, really super beautiful. super duper cool. So, what's going to happen with finishing it? Basically, Tamara reckons that John has got quite a serious, could be quite a serious injury if it's not looked after properly. Yeah. So we've got a disc doing something a bit funny. We've got nerves that are trapped and giving John pins and needles. And basically, you've got a rest for mm. as long as it takes. Mm. We don't know how long that's going to be. A um, couple of days. Yeah, it's not going to be a couple of days. <laughs> um, can I take the peas off for a minute? No, tomorrow said 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, all right. But you can take them off for a minute. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll put them back on, I promise. Um, okay, so uh, what's the plan? It's going to be tricky. Mm. It's going to be really challenging. So we have some ideas. There's yeah. all sorts of funky content and funky kind of projects that we've been putting off. There's a chicken coop that still hasn't been finished. There's a bed in our room <laughs> that needs God, no. I like it's three tiles and a couple of pieces of wood. So it will take you half an hour. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, so we'll finish that. Um, anyway, there's heaps to keep us entertained, heaps to keep you entertained. Yeah. Um, and we promise to keep working hard to keep things going. We, we will, yeah. Um, so there are a lot of projects. And also, I think I'm pretty confident that I've got an idea about how we can keep building this outside terrace and outside kitchen, because we really need to, and I really want to. Um, but I've got an idea how we can do that. So next week, I'm going to put into place plans 
to continue this build without upsetting my wife or Tamara. It's tricky. Tricky. But I think I know what you're thinking. Is it? Yeah. All right. Okay. See you on Sunday, folks. See you on Sunday, folks. Remember, be brave. Big, big. Explore. Did she start with that? <laughs> I'd have got it wrong. <laughs> I am starving. Shut up, you've been hurt one too many times before. Ended up staring in the bathroom.